daytime in the desert, the sun is so hot that people must wear lots of clothes to protect themselves from the sun and the blowing sand. The sand stinks when it hits your skin. The sun scorches you by day and at night it is so cold. You need many clothes to keep warm. The desert can be a dangerous place. People only go there if they have to. Gonna like only do your chores if you have to, right? Huh. The people of God went through the water into freedom. They were free, so Miriam led the dancing. Now that the people were free, they could go anywhere they wanted to go and do anything they wanted to do. So where should they go now? What should they do? Where will they go now? What is the best way? Sounds like an exciting adventure! Freedom! God loved the people so much that God gave them the 10 best ways to live. Sometimes these ways are called 10 commandments. As the people traveled across the desert, they followed fire by night and smoke by day. They began to complain. Some even wanted to go back to Egypt. Can you imagine? There was not enough food. There was not enough water. God helped Moses find food and water. Finally, they came to the great mountain. The people came close to the mountain, but they were afraid to touch it. Mount Sinai was covered with fire and smoke. Moses was the only one who had the courage to climb up into the fire and smoke to meet with God. That's interesting. Of all the people, Moses was the only one with enough courage to go up the mountain. When Moses was on top of the mountain, he came so close to God and God came so close to him that he knew what God wanted him to do. God wanted him to write the 10 best ways to live on stones and bring them down the mountain to the people. God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. Moses gave them to the people, and they gave them to us. Here are the ten best ways. When we say us, we mean God's love for each one of us, as well as all of us together. Number one, put God first. Number two, no fake gods. Number three, respect God's name. Number four, respect God's day of rest. Number five, respect your parents. Number six, do not kill people. Number seven, respect marriage. Number eight, do not steal. Number nine, do not lie. And ten, do not be jealous. All of them together, they tell us, love God, love people, and God loves us. I know, these are all hard. God did not say that these are the 10 easy things to do. They are the 10 best ways. They are called the 10 commandments too. They're hard, but we can practice them and keep our relationship with God front and center. And now, I encourage you to express this story with art materials of your choice. I can't wait to see what you create.